when it comes down to Trump and his supporters and issues regarding the veterans, they will always have their foot in the dog do, ladies and gentlemen. They will forever have their foot in the dog do. All stemming back to the NFL. When they were taking that knee for police brutality, it was Trump and his supporters that brought up the veterans and how the veterans were being disrespected. And from that point on, ladies and gentlemen, Trump has done nothing but disrespect veterans. Now you would think his trip to France and missing Arlington would have been enough, right? You would think a man would lay low and stay off of issues of veterans out in the news. But no, not Trump. Trump is back on the can criticizing veterans once again. Trump blasted for criticizing Navy SEAL in charge of killing bin Laden. Now, Trump made the claim that they should have uh, killed bin Laden sooner. Well, we know one thing, Trump, a draft dodger could never have killed bin Laden. If we had to depend on draft dodgers, he would still be alive and above ground today because nobody like you would have killed him. You would have just stood on the sidelines complaining like you do now, you know, who, who respects that? Former comrades in arms of retired Navy SEAL Admiral who oversaw the 2011 operation to take out Osama bin Laden blasted Trump for denigrating the former commando for not killing the terrorist leader sooner. Then in the interview, um, Trump said that this was a Hillary Clinton supporter. Oh, I see. So you only honor veterans if they are Republican and Trump supporters. If they support anyone else, then that veteran don't count, huh, Trump? Because that's exactly what you're saying. So now, once again, Trump is being dragged over veterans. Once again. <laughs> Retired Lieutenant General Mark Hartling, who served with Admiral William McRaven in Afghanistan and Iraq, said the commander in chief's comments were appalling and disgusting and serve only to distract from McRaven's initial point about Trump's attacks on the media. <laughs> What the issue was is pre the president calling journalists fake news. That was the beginning of the question and suddenly he, he diverted to Bill McRaven and everyone is talking about insults on McRaven as opposed to freedom of the press. The former army officer said on Monday on CNN, See, ladies and gentlemen, this admiral has been in the news criticizing Trump. So now Trump is seizing the opportunity to criticize him and drag this man. All right. And the man in the picture right here, this is Lieutenant General Mark Hartling. So I just want to go down a bit. Okay, McChrystal, who commanded U.S. Army troops in Afghanistan, suggested that Trump's chiding 
McRaven reveals his disregard for the U.S. military, despite the president's claims otherwise, which is very, a very good point. Now, you know, in front of the mic and on Twitter, and according to his supporters, they all support the veterans, especially, you know, during the NFL protest. Oh, they, they were all pro-veteran, right? But notice how none of them are saying anything about how Trump <laughs> missed events. In fact, they come to defend him. One of them said, oh, it was a security thing. You should understand it was the, the security. That's why he didn't show up. Okay, then explain how the other president showed up and there were no security issues. You, you got a problem if it's a security issue at a damn cemetery. You got problems. And all of the other world leaders were there, but you're saying for Trump, it was some security. Y'all need to just shut up. I'm serious. <laughs> if that's the best thing you can come up with, y'all need to be quiet. But that's what some troll had the nerve to write me. You know, again, you claim you love the veterans, but you seem to be in agreement with everything Trump does when he disrespects veterans. Take note of that, ladies and gentlemen. But they want to call out the NFL for respecting veterans and what they were doing had nothing to do with veterans. But Trump's disrespect of the veterans, oh, that's all good. That's okay. It's good. He was busy. The three-hour-a-day president that works three hours a day. He he was too busy. Shit, man, you work three hours a day. You shouldn't miss any engagement, okay? <laughs> there should be no engagements missed. The president did not go to Arlington Cemetery for Veterans Day. And maybe that's honest because if you really don't care, it wouldn't be dishonest to pretend that you do, he said. I think there's a certain honesty in what's going, what's happening. And, and he's right. Trump is really revealing he don't care about no dead veterans. He don't even care about the ones alive. Trump, in an interview with Fox News Sunday, said he regretted his decision not to go to Arlington last Monday while insisting that he just returned to Washington from a trip to Paris to commemorate the 100 year anniversary of Amitus Day. No, you skipped out on that cemetery thing too. He said he was extremely busy because of the affairs of state. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know damn well they would never accept that if that was President Obama. And there's no excuse, really. Just like the rain was not an excuse in France and I'm extremely busy, that's not an excuse either. Because, you know, you already know as president, you're going to have to do a lot of traveling. You're going to have to be places. You're going to have to go to events. You're going to have to make engagements. You should know that already as a president. Okay. George P. Bush, the son of former Florida governor, Jeb Bush, and the nephew of former President George W. Bush, sang McCraven's praises in a tweet on Monday. Okay, so the Republicans are coming out and praising this admiral, you know, where Trump drop the ball. You know, it's damage control. They got to do damage control because Trump has so many foot in the mouth moments. So Trump in an interview with Fox News Sunday lashed out at McCraven. Now this is a veteran. This is, <laughs> this is an admiral, a veteran. After being asked by host Chris Wallace about a remark, the veteran uh, special forces officer made in 2017 that the president's attacks on the media was the greatest threat to democracy. 
he has seen in his lifetime. And then this is Trump's remark back. Okay, he's a Hillary Clinton backer and an Obama backer, and frankly, would wouldn't have wouldn't it have been nice if we got Osama bin Laden a lot sooner than that? Wouldn't it have been nice, you know, living, think of this, living in Pakistan beautifully in Pakistan, said Trump, who took a medical deferment for a bone spur to get out of serving <laughs> in the Vietnam War. Good. I'm glad that was brought up because that's exactly what Trump did. All right. So this is what this is the response from the admiral after he heard uh, Trump's claim that he backed Hillary Clinton. So this is what he said. I did not back Hillary Clinton or anyone else. McRaven, who did not endorse a candidate in 2016, said, I'm a fan of President Obama and President George W. Bush both of whom I worked for. I admire all presidents, regardless of their political party, who uphold the dignity of the office and who use the office to bring the nation together in challenging times. I stand by my comment that the president's attack on the media is the greatest threat to our democracy in my lifetime, he continued. When you undermine the people's right to a free press and freedom of speech and expression, then you threaten the constitution and all for which it stands. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. President, I love the veterans in front of the NFL, dragging another veteran in the press. All because this, you know, I guess, like I said, veterans don't count unless they are Republicans and support Trump. If you put your life on the line and you wear the Democrat label, <laughs> your bloodshedding don't count, according to Trump. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Woo, the gift that keeps on giving. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.